What's up, everybody? We are back. I've got a, a special sort of review for you today. My name is John Delarose. I am a science fiction author and comic creator, so please check out my books. They're in the description below. I appreciate everybody who does that. That's the best way to support the channel and what I'm doing here. All right, I found this Marvel Treasury Edition in a comic shop uh, the other day, and I've got it in shrink wrap. <laughs> I, I want to show you it. I, I just don't even want to pull it out of this anymore because I, I did read it uh, for the sake of this review. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it like this as I talk about uh, what goes on here because uh, I want to keep this in perfect condition. And the reason I do is uh, this was a precursor to a series 2001 A Space Odyssey by Jack Kirby, which um, he did in the 70s. And uh, I've actually had those bound with my Machine Man because that was the first uh, appearance of a Machine Man in that. And it kind of flows into the Machine Man series uh, where it then becomes the Marvel Universe. Very, very... Uh, odd way of uh of doing that uh, but it it works and uh first before he did that whole series he did this uh adaptation of the stanley kubrick movie of 2001 a space odyssey great movie uh really innovative in the late 60s uh, early 70s there and uh really cool beautiful comic of that now this was never done the reason i didn't have get this before and have it bound with my other books is uh this was not done in standard comic size format. This was the only, the Marvel treasuries are way bigger than standard comic size. Let me show you an example based on a graphic novel of standard comic size. Here's like a Batman comic. And you see how much bigger this is. And you see how much bigger it is than an omnibus too. It's just ginormous, these treasury editions. Uh, so this is the only format it was ever printed in. So I couldn't have it bound with my other stuff. And next, uh, this has never been printed again because it is... Uh, Marvel doesn't own the rights to this. So it's not in any collected editions. It doesn't exist outside of this treasury edition like this, 80 pages of a comic, and it does faithfully adapt that Stanley Kubrick movie. Now, the art in this is fantastic. It's Jack Kirby. You can see from the cover just all the wild elements that he does to like visually communicate some of this stuff. And I'd say it's it's kind of better than the movie because a lot of times in the movie you have these scenes where like, the, the spaceship's just slowly docking and it takes minutes in order to get that there. Well, that's just one panel in this. <laughs> so the pacing actually ends up a little better in this comic version of this than it does uh, in um, the movie. Now, it starts out just like the movie. You've got the apes and they're learning to use fire and tools and all that. And Jack Kirby does a beautiful art job of that. And you're just going to have to take my word for it because I'm not going to open this up again. This is, a, this is a, at least a 9.2 grading. So I'm going to, I might even have this graded just because it's awesome. Uh, and very, very hard to find one in this condition. I'm so happy I did. <laughs> um, and then it gets into the 2001 story uh, where they find a monolith on the moon. And then later there's an expedition to Jupiter uh, where there's a monolith out there as well. And an AI kind of goes rogue over the course of that, kills off the crew. And uh, this character, uh, Dave, ends up uh, kind of evolving uh, into the next level of humanity w when he kind of meets with the monolith. Or at least it kind of looks like he does. I always kind of wonder with 2001... Is it just a hallucination? Are they actually out there or are they just getting killed and they don't even know it? Uh, it kind of leaves that as a mystery and it's kind of a neat thing. Now, Kirby's elements of this are just all over this map. He draws beautiful space scenes. He does those collages where you can see the little rockets on the moon and you can tell it's one of his little collages. Uh, he does uh, beautiful machinery all the way around. Uh, awesome, trippy uh, sort of landscapes and all that. Uh, spacescapes, I should say. And the monoliths look really cool. <clears throat> this is awesome. Uh, if you can find a copy of this, I highly, highly recommend getting this. This is a 10 out of 10 for comics. Just beautiful stuff all the way around. Uh, and it's really nice uh, to read this before going into uh, the 2001 series and then Machine Man after that. So uh, wonderful stuff. 10 out of 10. Beautiful. 2001 A Space Odyssey. And that's the story behind the Mar Marvel Treasury special. So hope you enjoyed that today. Hit that like and subscribe button. We'll be back soon.